Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today, today, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic row height for table view cell. By dynamic, I mean that we will not hard code row height for table view. So let's get started. This is a simple example of what we will be creating. I have already created Xcode project. So first, let's hop over to main.storyboard and drag and drop a table view and I'll select iPhone X here. Okay, so first we need a table view. So drag and drop a table view here. And we don't want it to be too long. So just, yeah, good enough. And change the background color to something good. Cyan is good as well. So here, uh, just constraints. So it will be 0, 0, 0 and a fixed, row, uh, fixed table view height. That's table view height, that's not row height. So anyways, now we need to connect this to our view controller and just name it table view. Okay, cool. So we are done with the storyboard part. Let's hop over to our view controller file, standard editor. And, and here we will assign table view delegate is actually we don't need delegate but yeah don't mind it's okay so table view dot data source is equal to self as well and now we need data so let's say let data model is equal to open brackets and now we need some string so Let's pull it out it's from lorem Epson and it's here. I'll just copy this text and oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I just copied this. I'll close this. I don't need this as well. So, and just paste it over here. Don't forget the quotes. And like, I'll just separate this uh, each line so that I have like a couple of strings. So just comma, enter, brackets, uh, double quotes, and one more over here as well. So enter, double quotes, and just tab it out. So, and one more thing, we need comma. Yep, comma, three, three, three strings. Okay, I forgot one quote here, quote here, and now we have three strings, looks good. And so we can like, start with our normal table view procedures so we will need table view delegate table view data source and for data source uh, we need two functions which are mandatory so it's number of section here we just say return one and for we need number of rows and this will be return data model dot count and now we need cell so cell for row at index path and here let's let's add some spaces here we will say let cell equal to a ui table view cell a normal cell style will be default and re reuse identifier we don't want it so just nil and so let's just assign the text for now and see what happens so text label dot text equal to data model open close brackets and just pass an index path dot row and we also need uh, yeah we can do it later so just say return cell and run the application and okay it's running where did it go okay we have it here and so it looks good but the thing is the text goes like out of the box out of the row and we need to make it dynamic so let's make it dynamic stop the application and here we will say first of all cell dot number of lines okay so cell dot text label dot number of lines equal to zero and the reason I have it zero is if you click alter and click over here here it says to remove any maximum limit and use as many lines as needed set the value of this property to zero so yep and cell dot text label dot text alignment and this will be center uh, justified 
So we are done with the cell part. Now we need to do a couple of stuff over here. So here we will say table view dot estimated row height is equal to 50 and table view dot row height is equal to UI table view automatic dimension. And this should do the trick. So let's run the application and see what happens. Okay, so now we have dynamic row height, but we can do a bunch of more stuff so so that it looks more cool. I, I don't like uh, this. This doesn't look good, and I don't like the scroll indicator as well. So I'll just get rid of it. So here I'll say table view dot show vertical scroll indicator is equal to false, and table view dot layer dot corner radius is equal to twenty five. <coughs> And let's run again. So it's running and uh, corners look good as well. So that's how you create dynamic row height. If you have any questions, post them in comments. If you like my video, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time.